This is part four of my course on understanding analog tape recorders and how they work. In this section, I'm going to cover how to properly clean and demagnetize your tape recorder. I don't demagnetize often, maybe once a week if a machine is getting regular use. Newer machines are made from materials that don't magnetize easily, as well the bias and audio signals that pass through the heads are AC, so they're less likely to leave the machine magnetized. That said, if you're pulling the machine out of storage and you don't know what condition it's in, it'd be wise to demagnetize before aligning. After that, I would do it once a week or so to be safe. Before demagnetizing, you need to do two things. The first is remove any tapes, hard drives, or anything else that could be damaged by a magnetic field from the room. The next thing is turn off all tape machines. With your demagnetizer more than three feet from the machine, plug it in and turn it on. Slowly bring the demagnetizer towards the first guide. Move it in at the bottom of the guide, slowly bring it up, and pull it out, never making contact with the machine. Do the same for all heads and fixed guides. When demagnetizing, the speed you pull away the first few feet is most important. You must move slowly for the demagnetizer to be effective. The most important thing to remember is to not come in contact with the machine. If you do, carefully start over and demagnetize again. When you're finished, turn the demagnetizer off when you're three or more feet away. I clean the heads before every session and sometimes during sessions because dirt and oxide build up as you use the machine. Use 99% pure isopropyl alcohol to clean the heads, guides, and metal rollers. Do not use alcohol on the rubber pinch roller because it's gonna dry the rubber. For the pinch roller, I like to use a simple soap-based cleaner like Fantastic or Formula 409. I use cotton swabs to clean the heads on analog machines. Now, I prefer the industrial or medical style that have the wood shaft because they seem to shed less cotton fibers, but you can use the common drugstore variety. Clean the heads by holding the swab by the stem. Tape heads are mounted on a system of pivots and springs. You don't want to push too firmly, possibly moving the heads out of alignment. Clean the guides carefully. Gunk will sometimes build up in the top and bottom edges of the guides. I use an old cinematographer's trick and break a wooden swab using the sharp wood to clean in the crevices. The wood is softer than the metal or ceramic guide, so it won't do any damage. When cleaning the capstan motor, don't let alcohol run down the shaft into the motor bearings. Some capstan motors can be damaged if turned in the opposite direction of their normal rotation. So be aware if the motor is turning clockwise or counterclockwise when in play, and only rotate it in that direction while cleaning. I only clean pinch rollers when I see a dirt buildup on the surface. Cleaning too frequently with harsh chemicals can cause the rubber to dry out and become brittle.
This is the end of part four of my course on analog tape machines and alignment. Coming up next is part five, where I briefly explain the different types of tape recorder head adjustments. If you like this video, if you would like to see more pro audio content like this, please hit like and subscribe. I know you guys are tired of hearing this, but it does make a difference.